practice and procedure confer a right of appeal because if I may and this is the oh, I, I apologize it has my question has three parts because if I may touch upon what my learned colleague Mr. Justice Mansoor Ali Shah said recently that this is recently meaning in the hearing of the case that anything that this law the Supreme Court can itself do in exercise of rulemaking power. Question therefore is, can Supreme Court confer a right of appeal in exercise of rulemaking power of against a judicial order under 184.3? If the answer is no, then it seems to me logically that Parliament also can't do it because Take the two me. things are parallel. Therefore, question, is it therefore mm -hmm. unconstitutional? Unconstitutional. You don't have you that don't this, have to give an answer. This, 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 this have been, if the right to appeal had to be given, it should have been given through an amendment. So note it down. Yes, next is right to appeal. If you want, you can write it down and write it down. Okay? If you want to write it down, you can write it down. Yes. Let's read it down. 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 Right to appoint counsel of choice for filing a review application under Article 188 of the Constitution a party shall have the right to appoint counsel of its choice. I personally don't object. Personally, I have not objected to this because I feel that okay, it's okay. Uh, Chali, let's get on with it. Section 6 is okay. okay. Application for fixation of urgent matters, application pleading, urgency, or seeking in terms of filed in a uh, cause, appeal, or matter shall be fixed for it. My objection on this is again this, that this is a function of the uh, uh, Supreme Court itself, because this relates to Please the procedure. Please tell us, is it ultra virus, the Constitution? Mm -hmm. It's ultra virus. Thank you. I just have a question on, to you on this, on Section 7. Now, Section 7 really relates to what uh, is always, is, has been said as the nitty-gritty of procedural law. I mean, this is really going, you say, in a civil court into the very depths of CPC or the way we in the Sindh High Court have original side into the Sindh Chief Court rules original side. Yes. The question, therefore, is this. The legislative competence under Article 191, if it allows Parliament to go into so much depth into the very nitty-gritty of uh, procedure of the court, then surely Parliament has an untrammeled power to regulate the court itself. The power to regulate, if I may adapt, is the power to destroy. Does this not effectively destroy the independence of the this, this was my very first point which and I said, sir, that is, the function of the is Supreme it, Court have been virtually been taken over. Is, is this not contrary to the fundamental principle of the Constitution, tricotomy, tricotomy, tricotomy of parts? So where the, the legislative the organ is intruding upon the nitty-gritty and the procedural aspects which have specifically been to the Supreme Court under Article 191, is it not uh, 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 an intrusion in the boundaries created by the trichotomy of powers? That is why I think 7 is ultra-wise. Mr. Khwaja Saab, Khwaja Saab, yes, I think there's a very crucial and important question. <laughs> the jurisprudence of this court developed till today has only looked at aspect of independence of judiciary, that is freedom from external factors. But there are two other extremely or probably more important uh, factors that affect independence of judiciary, and that is internal independence and institutional independence. What the parliament appears to be looking at is the aspect of internal and institutional independence where probably in the perception of just the public or the parliament those powers exercised over the years by the chief justice under the rules they actually eroded the internal and institutional independence 
So when we talk about independence of judiciary, these two aspects that have been ignored till today, they are probably more important. That will certainly answer your, uh, uh, your lordship. Sir. Yeah, please, one question also. Since we uh, have just Ajay one sir. section, can we just finish reading it? Ajay sir, if I may have a supplemental on oh, yes, what sir. my learned colleague has said. Is it possible, so is it questions. constitutionally possible that if at all, and speaking for myself and with very great respect, perhaps I do not subscribe to that view that has been expressed, but I ask a supplemental question on it. Is it constitutionally conceivable that if there is such a concern about the internal independence of the judiciary, that the solution is to put the power in the hands of parliament? Would that not violate separation of powers? Tomorrow, what is there to prevent? And this is a question to you. What is there to prevent? Parliament from making a so-called law relating to practice and procedure and provide the federal government is hereby conferred powers to make rules and, uh, for the practice and procedure of the court. There is no end to it. Is If at all there is any trouble, and I, as I say, I have very deep regard and respect for my learned colleague, all of them, but in particular Justice Athar, is this really the solution? That is, okay, here is a problem internally to the would that not violate? Well, I mean, no, as I say, it's constitutional. Is it even conceivable? I mean, my, with, where, where uh, would that say yes. with, 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 uh, with due respect, uh, due respect uh, uh, my, to my, my, my Lord. This is a question. Sorry to say, Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Article 8 is not going to be able to do it. Internal working of the Supreme Court is not going to be able to do it. Supreme Section 5 jo appeal hai, wo ultra virus hai, the Constitution. But at the same time, while you are reading Section 6, it is right of review. You say that you have no objection to it. Why? Because the choice has been given to appoint the council of his own choice. Uh, 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 no, uh, when the uh, law is notice, totally sir, ultra virus, sir, sir, notice, then sir. how you can say that section 6 is okay with you? <laughs> no, uh, my own view was that uh, at times uh, the, the, we have the rules are there that uh, if a lawyer says that I'm ill or I'm out of the country or not well, you do allow yeah, in review. You are declaring uh, right also. of appeal ultra virus and right of review intra virus. No, my Lord, what I'm saying yes. is According to is your own argument, the, uh, the question is that you cannot provide a right of appeal, but you can under provide one, the right of review. Under 184.3, if 184.3 right of appeal is given in accordance uh, with, with, the, the, with, with the Constitution, uh, then as far as the Constitution, then Rose Nama Kudrat ki video dekhne ke liye abhi YouTube channel pe subscribe kare aur bell icon pe bhi click kare.